wow <laughs> it's been it's been it's been it's been <laughs> i can't speak i'm so sorry it's been about what four five maybe even six months since we last saw each other my name's isabella i'm so sorry if you don't remember me i'm sorry if you don't care <laughs> i just went through this whole thing let's just call it the big depression. I feel like it's time to push myself a little bit more and just like try harder to refine my happiness. Like I'm just tired of being sad all the time. I don't know if you can relate. I don't know if maybe this is like more common than I think it is. I just feel like being locked up and just having this pandemic mindset. It hasn't been good for like up here, down here. If you're still here, thank you so much for being so patient. And to those people who sent me the loveliest messages, thank you so much for caring about this little girl in the Dominican Republic who has a knack for crying over anything and screaming over everything. So I think what I have to tell you guys first is that I am currently suffering through the longest and probably hardest reading slump that I've ever had in my entire existence. I have the evidence right here. I have tried all of these books. These are all of the books that I've tried to read to beat my reading slump. Um, let's just go through it real quick, okay? Because I really want you guys to know that I've tried. It all started with The Phantom of the Freaking Opera, written by Gaston LaRue. LaRue? <laughs> I... <laughs> Literally, I have tried to read this book so many times, but I always, I can never get past like page 15. This is probably one of the slowest and most boring books, and I hate to say that because I actually bought this because of Emmy. Um, Emmy's books, she's on booktube, I love her vibe and I love all of her recommendations, so I thought I would love literally her favorite book of all time, which is The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> and this is what started my reading slump depression. <laughs> After that, I tried to read yet another classic for some reason, Dracula um, by Bram Stoker. I started reading this in October, obviously because I was doing all those gothic reading vlogs and I thought this was going to be like a really good addition to it. I, I couldn't even get past like chapter three. <laughs> Then, of course, um, I try to read, like, I try to go to a series that I know I already love. So I tried reading A Reaper at the Gates by Sabo Tahir, which is the third book in the An Ember in the Ashes series. I read the first chapter and never picked it back up again. When a book from one of your favorite series can't even get you out of a reading slump, you know it's real. You know you've got a big problem. Um, and then I went ahead and just tried like random books like The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. Couldn't even get past page one. And then I also got The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. V.E. Schwab, I adore her work. I adore her writing. So I thought this was going to be like boom out of my reading slump. A reading slump who? But this bookmark has been here since October. <laughs> I feel like October is where it all started, like the big depression, the reading slump, just blame it on October. Um, and then I also tried to read like this new science fiction series that was gifted to me by Kira for my birthday. And I felt like it was just too heavy, like this, this is a really intense world building, so I don't think I'm quite ready for this yet. And then the last book that I tried was yet another classic. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Obviously, classics are not the solution to reading slumps. Take it from me, I've tried four classics. None of them worked. If not, they made it worse. Um, yeah, this is the last one that I tried to read, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So as you can see, I've tried. Like, I've really tried my hardest to get rid of this reading slump. I haven't felt like 
I've truly loved a book in such a long time. Like I haven't really like sat down and annotated a book and enjoyed the heck out of reading it. And I miss that feeling. Like I go back to my vlogs and I see myself getting so excited over these books and these characters and falling in love with them and crying with them. And I'm like, I want what she has. I want what she's having. And I wanna go back to that. So with this reading vlog, I think I don't know, I just wanna get back to things. Like maybe since I'm so excited to be back to my booktube channel, hopefully, um, I feel like that excitement is going to make me want to pick up more books and to keep on trying. Also, if you guys have any tips on how you have gotten over reading slumps before, I feel like I would really appreciate it right about now. This is like basically the intro to this video. It's, it's going to be a little bit of everything. I'm not quite sure, I'm just so excited to be back. It's so weird because I, like technically I haven't really gone anywhere. I've just been home, locked up, in my depression. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous because I feel like people will be like, oh right, you used to make videos. <laughs> but then I'm also really excited because I feel like new people are gonna find my videos and it's like the prospect of making new friends and bonding over books and reading. It's just really exciting to me. So yes, this is the beginning of a new era for Throne of Pages. Thank you for joining the ride. We hope you enjoy the journey. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna watch like an episode of my K-drama, of course. Some things never change. Even though I've been going through it lately, I haven't stopped watching K-dramas. Literally, they've been my anchor in this life. Um, so I think I'm gonna watch an episode and just go to bed and yes it's been great seeing you the video is not over but it's great seeing you um i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and i'll talk to you guys later bye wait no not bye just you get it you get it you get it <laughs>
unboxing time. We have this huge box, which I know what it is because I ordered it myself. And it's this big, not because it's full of books, but because, um... So this is what it looks like. This is supposed to be a booktube channel, but I am unboxing a dehumidifier that I bought for my sister. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, so like, obviously this is not what I wanted to show you guys. What I wanted to show you is this beautiful horror manga that I finally got my hands on. It is Tomi by Junji Ito. This is one of the three like deluxe editions of his horror novels that have been published and this is the last one that I was missing and I am so excited because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is about like a female serial killer. You know, I love that. Like, yes, work it. <laughs> and I also got a Blood on the Tracks Volume 1 because I saw this recommended video on YouTube which is something like the manga that scarred everybody for life ever since i saw that video i was like i need to read this manga and apparently it's like exploring the relationship between a mother and a son but the mother is a little bit crazy and she would do literally anything to protect her child even kill and i just find that to be so amazing like motherly love no one can compare and my sister and i really want to read this together so i just went ahead and got it for us and i'm very excited to read this the blood on the tracks do we see like a little pattern here female serial killers one about motherly love one about just a girl wanting to live her life in peace <laughs> um so i'm very excited to get to both of these that's basically what was in this huge enormous box um but definitely worth it 10 out of 10. i have a feeling both of these are going to be five out of five stars and as we've been discussing i've been in the longest slump of my life so i really need like really good mangas to pick up my reading mood again so hopefully these will do the trick and apart from that huge box, we also have my books, my treasure, a fairy loot box. Let's just see what's in store. Oh wait, I haven't mentioned. Fairy loot actually contacted me like a few months ago, like right before I hit the big depression. And they were like, we would love to send you some boxes so that you can show them to your subscribers and your friends and just get them excited over fairy loot. And I'm like, <laughs> This is such an honor, like I I just can't believe that they would reach out to me, like this little girl over in the Caribbean, just, you know, so I just, it's such an honor to be receiving these boxes and for them to trust me with these unboxings, knowing how crazy I am, and I'm just like over the moon happy and so grateful for this opportunity. This is the beautiful card. For this box it's about greek mythology <gasps> okay cupid and psyche trinket tray okay this is fun oh this is stunning shut up shut up shut the front door <gasps> oh, that's beautiful and the detailing oh stunning wait what is this did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love. I've actually been really getting into baking recently and I feel like I'm gonna find a really good use for this. So like, oh my God. Okay, the one thing, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um, the one thing I'm not a fan of is this. Um, I feel like it just creates so much mess and I hate mess. We have a book sleeve. This was inspired by Cersei written by Madeline Miller, which is also the author of Song of Achilles. Okay, ooh, we have a little nice envelope. Iron, ooh, oh my god, this is an iron-on patch of Medusa. I can't, like this, oh my god. I think this may be my favorite box. Like Greek mythology, you can never go wrong with Greek mythology. Ooh, it's a metal bookmark, wait. Shh. No, no, you're kidding. This is st holy shit. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, 
the level of quality of these products why am i gasping why do i want to cry <laughs> Okay, this is an artwork of, of course, Annabeth Chase and Percy Jackson. No! Hello! <laughs> I mean, is it really a Throne of Pages unboxing if one of my parents doesn't barge into my door without even knocking? Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, it's a very slow... <gasps> You're kidding. You shut up. Like, literally, are you freaking... Are you? No. No. Okay, Fairy Loot. Okay, I see you. I see you, Fairy Loot, and I commend you for the amount of detail that this has. Look at a. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> um, I. I am literally obsessed with this box. I, I need a moment to process all of this beauty. Um, okay, talk to you later. Oh my god. What? <laughs> As we can see, I'm in a different setting right now. I am currently up in the mountains with my family, but I did bring Tommy with me just because I really wanted to finish this before the weekend was over. And I finished it. I just finished it. I turned the last page and what the hell did I just read? Not that I'm surprised, Junji Ito always comes for my mental health and just like my sanity in general. <laughs> Um, so I was incorrect about the fact that Domi is like this serial killer. She really isn't a killer at all. It's just that she has like this weird power where men fall madly, literally madly in love with her. So much so that they have to chop her into pieces. I don't know, like she always ends up dead because men can't fathom the idea of her not being with them, I guess. So that's messed up, but... 
maybe there's like a hidden message there that I'm sure someone is going to tell me about. Right now, I'm just too messed up to think of like anything logical. I am going to be giving this a four out of five stars because I really enjoyed this manga. I won't say I am entirely out of my reading slump because this was a manga. Like it's really easy to digest and it's really easy to get sucked into the story. I still haven't tried reading like the normal format for a book. I still haven't tried that and I'm kind of scared that when I do I'll just fall right back into the reading slump but I actually really enjoyed spending my time reading Tomi and I also finished reading Blood on the Tracks. I am also giving that one four out of five stars. It is this story about this mother and a son and the mother is kind of like a helicopter mom. She doesn't really let her son do anything and she's always there kind of like in the background checking up on him. I wouldn't really say it's horror it's more like I don't know <laughs> it's more like a thriller and also kind of like you know what I mean like one of those mangas that have you at the edge of your seat kind of being like what is going on not as intense as Junji Ito's work but still pretty intense um, so I really enjoyed both of these mangas. I'm just going to spend my weekend watching movies with my family, eating a lot, and just having like a blessed day, blessed weekend, calm, chill, getting rid of all my stress, and hopefully editing this vlog so that I can finally show you guys my face again um i today i put up this instagram story of me reading tommy and being like reading vlog <laughs> and i got so many lovely messages of people being like oh my god i've missed your reading vlog so much and it just means so much to me that you guys waited for me and were so patient and kind and just overall just stunning beautiful people so like thank you for still being here i really hope you've been enjoying this vlog and i actually think i don't know i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because i don't think i'm going to be doing much vlogging after this um i've had such a fun time doing this vlog being back in this world and being able to share my thoughts on the books and just like things that I'm loving recently and also like just let me know what you would like to see in my channel because I just want to give you guys everything I want to give you guys the world um if it's in my grasp you know like whatever I can do for you I want to do it so <laughs> all right my family oh 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 Shh. um my fa Shh. my fa <laughs> My family is being noisy, so I think I'm going to end the clip here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Comment what your favorite part was. I don't know, like, let's just talk. I've missed talking to you guys. So, yes, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Love you all. Thank you. Bye. Tell me, say bye. <laughs> um, so much sun. Yes. Hey, Jimmy, you nice. Keep going. <laughs>